Hi everyone, we are at NEDS 2023 in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. We are now with BAE Systems who is showcasing a new C2 Shore connector. And to find out more about it is Mike Darzo uh, from BAE Systems uh, Maritime. Mike, good morning. Uh, good morning to you. So what can you tell us about this uh, new C2 Shore connector? Uh, first, what is its name? Uh, well, we're calling this, uh, this is our literal strike craft concept. And, uh, and I guess the key difference with this is more than just a traditional connector craft. It's very much a surface maneuver craft uh, to support the way in which our customers are thinking about a uh, literal strike concept of operations. Can you share with us some of the key elements that drove the design of that craft as well as some uh, specification and design features? Yeah, so, so listening to how our customers want to operate in the future uh, in this literal strike space, we understand that the, the, the key requirement is to be able to operate uh, much further offshore across the horizon at greater speed uh, with much reduced signature. But also that the key part of this obviously is the human and we have to be able to deliver these commando forces to the shore and a condition fit to fight when they arrive. The concept we're looking at the moment is approximately uh, 18 meters length overall. Uh, and the, the displacement, I would say at the moment, is, uh, is uh, sub 40 tons. And it can deploy on shore uh, not only uh, marines, but uh, their equipment as well as the vehicles? Yes, so it's very much built around the concept of a strike team of commandos. Uh, deploying either uh, dismounted commandos or with uh, light vehicles um, up to the, the class of a, a, a Ranger or a Hilux. And uh, we are here in the Netherlands. Is this to answer uh, both British and Dutch uh, requirements, upcoming one? Yes, we, there's been very close cooperation between both the, uh, the UK and Netherlands. And uh, this year, is, of course, is the 50th anniversary of the, uh, the Amphibious Force MOU between these countries. Um, so we understand the, both countries uh, see some very uh, strong similarities in the way in which they wish to operate, um, both at the very top level, which includes the, uh, the amphibious shipping and support, uh, right down to things like surface maneuver craft. We are in the process of uh, validating design options. Um, We've already conducted some numerical simulation of potential, uh, potential technical options. Uh, and as we move through next year, we expect to uh, understand more about the exact technical requirements uh, and the way in which the customer um, um, plans to operate. So uh, I think we see next year very much as a listen uh, and refine uh, stage. The new craft we just discussed is part of a bigger picture known as the literal strike concept. And to find out more about this concept, I am now with uh, John Butler from uh, BAE Systems Maritime. John, good to see you again. And you, thanks very much for uh, popping by, Zab. So, littoral response groups, um, it, it's no secret that the Netherlands and the UK governments have jointly signed up to look at what the future capabilities might need and whether there is potential for working together. So what we've been doing in BA Systems is thinking, what does that look like from a system of systems concept? So, as I say, the mobility craft as part of that, but what is the future mothership? You know, what is the future requirement for an amphibious ship? So you'll see as the uh, scenario scrolls behind me, a potential one involving a future amphibious concept that we're, we're looking at. It's the adaptable strike frigate that you've seen before, the connector mobility craft, but it's things like, how do they all work together? What are the technologies that will need to be in them? Um, you know, you may have, from previous interviews seen, we've talked about, we're looking at future power and propulsion, making sure that we're burning non-carbon fuels. What's the power generation required for that? We're looking at modularity, uh, onboard assets, offboard assets, autonomy. What's the command and control across all of that because will some of that be in the mobility craft and how does that connect back to the ship and how does that then tie it across all the ships in that littoral strike group. So we're trying to take say, a systems of systems approach to thinking about what all the types of vessel might be and how they might be used so that there's a reasonable story to present and to talk to government and national partners as and when those joint discussions you know run their course very well john thank you very much thank you